This is a Raspberry Pi computer. As you can see, it is pretty small, like a normal Raspberry Pi, credit card size pretty much. Um, I actually got this Raspberry Pi for free because the original owner um, no longer used it, so that was pretty sweet. Um, let me give you a quick overview of this um, little thing. Um, right here we have an Ethernet port. I'm pretty sure it's 10100, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, right here we have two USB ports. And once again, I'm not 100% sure if these are USB 2.0 or not. Um, over on this side we have the composite video output and audio output. 3.5mm jack. Um, right here we have a or some pins that can be used for expansion. Um, right here we have the SD card slot, which is currently occupied by a Lexar Professional 16 gig SDHC card, which works perfectly with this. Um, over on this side, we just have the um, power connector there, which is a just a normal micro USB port. Um, right here we have an HDMI output. Got this would focus. There we have an HDMI output, and yeah, those that's all the ports on the system. Um, right here we have another set of pins for expansion, and right here we have a ribbon cable connection, and we have the same right here for expansion once again. Right here is the CPU. It is a 700 megahertz ARM processor. Actually, system on a chip. Um, it does have an um, external? Um, I'm pretty sure this is the LAN controller. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get it hooked up to this TV right here, and I will give you a little demonstration. So, be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten the Raspberry Pi all connected now. I have it connected to this white Apple Pro mouse and this Apple iMac G3 keyboard here. Um, I cannot actually plug the mouse into the side of the keyboard like I would do on a normal Mac because um, this USB hub and the keyboard is actually not supported on the Raspberry Pi so it doesn't even detect the mouse. So I've got my power cable right here so let's go ahead and plug it in. As you can see a rainbow screen has appeared and it is now booting. You can see the uh, indicator LEDs there. Alright, log in. Alright, and let me type start X to get into the graphical user interface. Okay, as you can see, we are now in. Um, I also have Ethernet hooked up, so I can give you an in internet demonstration. But, um, as you can see here, we have the normal desktop. Um, I do have um, Minecraft Pi Edition installed, which I will show you in a minute. And, um, down here, right here, we have the CPU usage indicator. Um, obviously, this CPU runs at 700 megahertz, so it's definitely not the fastest thing in the world. Um, some of the applications that come installed are Scratch, which is kind of like a basic programming tool. Midori, which is a web browser. I prefer, I prefer another one that comes installed, which I'll show you in a second. 
There's a Wi-Fi configuration tool if you have a USB Wi-Fi dongle connected to this device. Um, there is a terminal um, shutdown button, pretty self-explanatory. OCR resources, I'm not exactly sure what that is. IDO3, once again not sure, but it has the Python icon, so it must be something to do with Python. Scratch, uh, Pi Store, I'll show you that in a bit. Debian Reference, um, never really used that. Um, and Python Games, which are the things on the desktop and my Minecraft Pi Edition folder right there. And in the menu here, we have a few things. Uh, refresh rate. Alright, hopefully you can see that. Um, under Internet, um, you can see we have a, a decent selection of web browsers here that come with the Raspberry Pi. This refresh rate is being really weird. Let's see if I can get a better view. Alright, there we go. Um, I preferably, I prefer to use the NetSurf web browser because I find it the fastest, so I'm going to go ahead and open that now. As you can see we are now in the NetSurf browser. So let me go to Google. And there is Google. Well, sorry about that. That's really definitely annoying, but um, there's nothing I can do about it. All right. Well, as you can see, we're in Google. Let's see how YouTube loads on this thing. Oh, would you look at that? It actually supports Flash. No way. open this first video here and see if it actually works. I doubt it though. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. As you can see, the uh, graphics are sort of laggy. If you drag around the window, it kind of has a ton of aliasing as you can see. Uh, just go ahead and close that for now. You can actually get the uh, Chromium web browser for this machine, so it's pretty cool. It does run slow though, unfortunately. Um, let me go ahead and open Python games and I'll show you what it includes. Um, don't actually have audio connected so now actually some of these games don't even work for some reason but um, one that does is snake so I will play that now or wormy as they call it you can see some weird animation there um, it's basically just a your average snake game. I'm not very good. And I kind of lost one of them, so. Okay. Go ahead and close out of that. Let's go into the Pi Store and see what that's like. I actually haven't used it yet. Stupid refresh rate. Okay. The resolution on this CRT isn't very good, so I can't actually view the bottom scroll bar, which kind of sucks. Yeah, 
yeah, as you can see, it's a there's a decent selection here. Let's see what's in your apps. What's this? Fast DOS box. Sweet, you can run DOS emulation on this thing. It's pretty cool. Let me just exit out of that for now. Um, let me demonstrate Minecraft Pi Edition because that's pretty interesting. Basically, all Minecraft Pi Edition is is a port to the Raspberry Pi from the uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition for Android. And just run that. As you can see, it indeed works. It's pretty slow, but there we go. Um, there we go. This is creative mode, so I can fly. Remember, I am using only one hand on this. Now, on the pocket version of Minecraft, there's actually ends to the map, so if I keep going, as you can see, it isn't laggy whatsoever, so, I mean, the video rendering of this thing is very good. It can play high-definition video when you're using um, XBMC on this. Okay, so as you can see, the map has come to an end. So yeah, that's the one downside to this. Minecraft Pocket Edition, but it is still most definitely playable. So yeah, um, you can play Minecraft Pi Edition perfectly. Let's quit. And let's see what else we got here. Programming Idle. Let's, let's open one of these. This is probably just a, a Python programming tool, Python compiler or something. Yep, we're in a Python shell it says up there, okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the um, Raspberry Pi, so sweet. Let's go ahead and um, shut it down. As you can see, it is shutting down now. It does take quite a while to shut down. Alright, as you can see, it has shut down and on the Raspberry Pi, it just shows a um, red light. So I'll just go ahead and unplug it. And that is my free Raspberry Pi. Hope you enjoyed this video.